Hey everybody, welcome to my video on supply and demand shifting. This video actually isn't going to have a lot of math in it. Uh, this one's more for intuition. So if you need help understanding what moves a supply or a demand curve, whether you're in a principles class or later on, this video should be of use to you. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to list a few things that can shift a demand that a few things that matter for demand one is price and I'm gonna hold that one as its own separate category uh, and then we also have price of substitutes price of complements We can have income, a number of buyers, preferences, and expectations. Those things all matter to demand. Usually when we graph demand, however, we're graphing something that looks like this. Quantity, price, there's a demand curve. And so price is not actually going to be a demand shifter. If we change price, we'll go from one point on the demand curve to another point on the demand curve. That shift along the curve is not a change in demand, it's a change in the quantity demanded. All right, let's do the same kind of idea for supply. Price matters, but it's going to be the thing that measures the supply curve. Other things that can change it are price of production substitutes, price of production complements, input prices, number of sellers, uh, expectations of the future, and we could probably throw in some others, like maybe like something the government does or something like that, but let's just leave it like this. Uh, like our demand curve, we have this quantity, we have price, supply curve. If price changes, the curve does not move, we simply move along the curve. Now, I'm going to move away from this handwritten stuff over to this Excel example. So let me introduce you to this problem. I made up a fictional market for movie tickets. We're going to make a lot of big assumptions and assume it's perfectly competitive. You can read up on what is entailed in that. Uh, I wrote a demand equation and an inverse demand function based on the same one, or a supply curve, and an inverse supply curve. If you're in an intro class and I didn't show you this stuff, that's okay. If you're in one of my intermediate classes, this probably looks like the supply and demand curves I give you. Uh, even for you intro kids, stick around, you might learn something. So, what are we gonna do here? First thing I'm gonna point out to you is that price is an input in the demand function or that quantity is an input in the price function I can change price you know any one of these prices or anything in between and for each price it is paired to a quantity each price is paired to a quantity and so along my demand curve if I change price it doesn't change these equations it changes what part of the equation I'm looking at. It changes the realization of the value of this function. So if I change price, I don't say that the demand changed. I say that the quantity demanded changed because this demand curve does not move when price moves. When price moves, I move some piece of it, the input and the output responds, but the equation and the math is still the same. Likewise for supply, 
each price linked to a quantity. Uh, price is not what shifts the curve. Price just tells you where along the curve you are. Now, for the sake of when I change things, I have the original inverse demand and inverse supply curves highlighted so that we can compare when we change it. I also have the original equilibrium down here. And when I change, start changing curves, this equilibrium will move. So let's look at what I have in this function. There's a whole bunch of stuff in my intercept, and I could have put more stuff in the slope too. I have all these other numbers being an important part of my demand curve. What are those numbers? I said the price of a movie rental, which is a substitute in consumption. Price of popcorn and parking, complements in production, or sorry, in consumption. Or I could say the hype over the new movie, a measure of my preferences. I could put these things or anything else. These are some of the factors we listed before that can shift demand. Uh, down here in my supply curve, I've got some of these things built in and I could have built in others. I have various costs, whether it be wages or the fee to be able to buy the movie from the studio and sell the experience of watching it to you and I. I also have outside costs and opportunities such as they could be selling renting out their theater space for someone else. And I have all of these things built in in some way. So like, let's look at what happens with our to our demand curve if I change the price of a movie rental. What if movie rentals go on sale? Change it from four to two. My demand curve shifted to the left. Did you see that? Look over here, the new demand curve has a lower intercept and the same slope. We're not willing to pay as much for a movie ticket anymore. Our equilibrium price dropped from 1023 to 890 and our quantity dropped by more than 2000 tickets. Why? When the price of a movie rental changed, we substituted towards that and the equation changed. When the equation changes, the line moves, unlike when price moves and you shift along the line. Let's put that back where it was for a sec. Uh, what if we change the price of a complement? What if popcorn gets even more expensive? Because it's ridiculous how much they charge us for that stuff. Demand shifted left. We don't want to buy as many movie tickets because the movie and popcorn experience is now more expensive than it used to be. Or what if our preferences change and we get really excited about the hype for a new movie? Well, demand increases and we're gonna buy more stuff than we used to at a higher price. Likewise, if I make it so that I have to pay my employees more, supply curve shifts left, or if I make it uh, cheaper to get to acquire the movie, my supply curve will shift to the right uh, all kinds of stuff like that. If something built into the equation, any of our demand and supply shifters that I listed earlier, because they're not all here, if something built into the equation moves, then the equation will move. Demand or supply will shift. But if it's just price moving, demand and supply aren't moving. You're just shifting along those curves. Anyway, I hope that's helpful to you. If not, too bad. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time and good luck good luck econing.